Oh god. Oh god. The biggest issue yet. This is gonna be the Come biggest on, line up issue. The two by two. Your Majesty, please. Why are they standing there? God, they messed up the line. They just stood there. God damn it. Now remember! I want the bears eight, no, ten wide, two rows deep, wolves on the outer edges. If I say the word graciousness at any point, that is when you set up the eight ballista behind the, the bears Ooh. and the wolves. Do you hear me? At any point you hear me say graciousness, that is when the ballistas go up in a line. Remember the order I sent you all? Ten bears wide, two bear rows deep. Wolves on the outsides. Ballistas behind if and only if I say graciousness. Understood? Hi. 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 Lord Umber's bears if you need them. Good. Yes. Zed, can you uh, go on the left side? God, they have such a battle strategy. Understood. Yes, I'm Understood. Okay. I'm okay. Good. Okay. Don't remember to line up the cats and stand behind me and the queen. Oh my... What a hell! Behind me and the queen. Single Nine line. Pulse in pulp. Rob on me. Squires! Assemble the ballista! Oh my god, what? Wait, there is something. Change my mind. Did she change his mind? Eight ballistas in a row! Uh oh, wait, he changed his mind. Oh god, wait, they're already setting up the ball. God. Make sure you space them out accordingly. That's too close. Spread them out. Eight wide. Aim center and down. Load them up. Uh, well, I mean, I might be fighting. Like, I don't know what's gonna happen. Dismount! Shields up! Form the line behind me! And we wait! Jesus, there's so many. Who's clearing the rocks as well? Oh my god, what? It doesn't feel like he's going for negotiations or anything. Already dismount behind me and the queen. Linderly's up front. They have Kent ropes and everything. Thank you. My queen, stand beside me. I can know. I can know for Shit, I should have had. Uh, should have had my war. On. I've never Come on, North. We've got nothing to be afraid of. Let's go say hello to the good king and queen, Tyrell. Maddox? Wait. Just wait. Why are we waiting? Why are we go. Shields out or in? I'll keep my shields down. Right. No, there is. Two, two deep instead of one wide. Not enough room. 
Single file. Save your fist. Oh. I I always let the bail in. I fail in bag. Press and move. Astra stay. That's chaos. Yeah, I was hoping. I was hoping so, since you all six one of it. Seems the Raven was a good method, was it not? Indeed. We should have brought chairs and a big table. Find <laughs> the tent. Block the sun. That's a nice day. Most so I'll start. We'll use the uh, standing. Perhaps. So as to not delay the, the point at hand. The North has always embraced the idea of a good Queen Tyrell. You know this from last summer. I had the pleasure of hosting many kings and queens in my halls last night to hear their grievances, their concerns. Find out what kind of concessions they'd be willing to do, and more importantly, finding out what kind of worming and scheming that they've been up to. It seems some were honest in my halls, others far from it. <laughs> but I can assure you, I informed the Vale that I agreed to terms that would have taken their land in supporting you. I informed all that the North has happily agreed to supporting House Tyrell with regards to their ambitions because you so graciously and kindly armed the men you see in front of you. Oh, 3,300 souls from the North brought here. All of them can lay claim to wearing at least one piece of Tyrell armor. I don't know you. I wouldn't say you know me. We don't know your ways. I know you don't know mine. But I did say in front of all of them that if anything, your Prince Cassian Tyrell, if he truly did fall from the tree that is Queen Tyrell, then at least that's a good showing. At least he grew up well, and I can't imagine he would be the, the man that he is, should you be an unfit queen, an unfit mother. He did say gracefully. The North will not blind, really blindly said. yield to you. The North will not give up its lands, holds, titles, and claim without absolute understanding and agreements of verbal tones and marriage. If you want the North's support, I need to know that you will support the North. Here are our terms if you want Northern allegiance. All kingdoms must build themselves a godswood. All kingdoms must plant a weirwood tree from what? the north. Wait, we must what? always be allowed to practice our faith. And at any point that you restrict, refuse, or deny our gods as true gods, you denounce all claim and dominion over the north. Secondly, Tobias what? of House Tarly will marry Violet Marmont of House Marmont and reside in the north to make sure that your northern assets are following toe and toe but also to learn the ways of the north wait would that's not she, what they said violet Mormont is a queen's guard to her sister who has happily married me tobias tarley would be marrying up should i father children with jasmine Mormont, and something awful were to happen it would be tobias tarley and violet Mormont that would then rule the north that is the agreement we made when their house supported mine in taking it. That's not what we have. The third on. term. No taxation whatsoever. We man the, ha the harsh northern lands. The lands of always winter. We've dealt with wildlings our entirety. It's mainly northern men that man the wall. It is also the northern army that suffered the most when Daenerys Targaryen and Jon defended our realms. It was their union that we're even alive for. 
The North will give up no blueprints, but happily mm. share as we have such far. The North will never be forced to have a Lord that is not of Northern blood, that is not voted in by the Northern people. The Northern borders will not change ever. The North will always maintain control of the Twins and the Gold Forge attached to it. We will have no grain tax, no gold tax, no standing army tax. If you can agree and comply to such terms, it will take time to convince a few houses that are proud. But I can give you my word that with no concessions from the North, you will have my support. As you can see, it is a formidable support to have. And they're kind of the enemy, yeah. I think all summer long, something being formidable or bodies on a field isn't something the Reach has always uh, looked into. As for your terms, they're pretty good. I like them. That's it. I don't believe we ever said anything about concessions when we mentioned it. We did offer land and you're gratefully to take someone else's. Um, never asked for your blueprints either. But you want me to force religion on everyone here. I didn't say force. Planting a godswood is not forcing anything. Any kingdoms already have this. As part of that, let me add another term then. All your blueprints, including mine, will be open and for use to everyone. If we're all under one rule, and we're all united, then everyone here should have access to everything we already have. Considering you're not the only kingdom in this lineup who is wearing armor made by us, as we have already seen... What is it? Four out of the six? Five out of the seven? Huh. Well, as far as I was concerned, it was only three, so it, I imagine you've armed someone else then. Who might that be? Castle Rock, you, Dorn, Darren Isles. That's four. I see. What? All what? through trade deals, all through agreements. And every one of them prospered more than we did. We may be willing to agree to authorizing the use of all of our blueprints. But... The things that we've been made aware of, we have concerns about others getting access to them. Speak up. Oh my I God. will wait. I'll let other kingdoms speak their points before I challenge or question someone's honor or lack thereof. Well, we've already talked, let the Vyans speak. The Vyans speak. We promised Everyone that we would repay our debt. Them. We promised our support if things were done in the right way. Last night we weren't sure if you were gonna honor that. But if you are, then our word is as good as it always has been. Uh, it's fine. Uh, we are willing to plant the God's Wood. The Westerlands are inclusive. Everybody is welcome. Mm. May that be for trade or for religion. The only two concessions to make to me that there will no taxes be paid. And there will always be a Lannister ruling over the Westerlands, it's your ward. No bad terms. The only thing I can say to the Westerlands is it's, uh, rather sad that, uh, you're only here because of us. Your kingdom's only built because of us. Your land is there because of us. Your men are here because of us. Your knights are knights because of us. You are a king with a Valyrian sword because of us. And you couldn't give us the courtesy of asking about a raven. How do you think that makes us feel, well, considering we considered you one of our bestest friends? Well, we spoke about this whole ordeal less than a week ago. We have been supportive, as you have supported us, when it came to trade, when it came to auction. So, as friends, I think we expected for you to at least give us a heads up. I understand your 
disappointment on how this was handled, but I'm sure you can understand mine as well. We've been friends all this time, and we have trusted each other. So the raven caught us off guard as it did everybody else. As close allies and friends, I would have expected a different treatment. Fair enough. I might think I'm a rather smart man when it comes to anything combat related. If I honestly planned on taking anything by force, I wouldn't have armed the people I'd be fighting. Just killed them. I wouldn't have had practice drills inside of my keep, inside of my halls, with my closest friends or allies, if I planned on hurting them. Oh my god, what the... Uh, actually... It would have taken not but one, one rider to do such close. a thing. You are so close. Yet you decide to run north to discuss such things. I don't like their tone, kill them. But I suddenly turn into an ambitious tyrant overnight. But I have built a kingdom up. Restored your honor, only to tear you down. How silly. It is quite the disappointment. I thought you were smarter than this. You faulting a man for coming to my halls without telling you? Is he not allowed to speak Only freely one among his peers? Told us at the meeting. And I? he decided not to show up. Well, you weren't invited. So he asked. <laughs> <laughs> he said uh, he asked all of you to give us a chance, but he failed to even give us a chance when he rode right by us. That's the problem. Someone who we see as our best friends, someone as we built up. Hey, it's not a matter of friendship. If a man is invited on a specific accordance to discuss this declaration you have made, why is it his duty to tell you that he's invited to someone else's halls? Are we all subjected under your reign to run to you whenever we're going to visit another kingdom? He because expects from what... it of us. He expects me to explain my raven before I even send one. So yes, if he expects such yeah. courtesy, I would expect the same from him. Also, you, expect I expect Tyrell, courtesy. you may ask I Cassian, I, I have them. seeked you out for three days and have been unable and to meet you. And I have returned you. such things and ravens. I'm curious to know what the Stormlands want. Oh? Told you yesterday evening. He I told me many things, but it has a proven matter that many things that you said in my halls were not truthful. Hmm. Hmm, well, what indeed. Was it? Remains, yes, I would like <laughs> to know exactly what it is. I'll be happy to explain myself in some time. Let's hear your needs and your wants by joining this kingdom. Or you can talk. Mm. I've talked plenty. So you think you know so much? <sighs> oh, I think I do know much. I think you're a snake. Oh. I think you backed out against your own ally. And you are a sensitive little northern bitch. <laughs> oh, am I? A sensitive little northern mm -hmm. bitch? Right. If I was so here. sensitive, would I be marching 1,800 men to try and strong arm a king because he punished my, my poaching little cunt? Doesn't matter. You can talk. <laughs> you would do anything. To see that your men have gear and supplies. You would backstab the one person that supported you through most things. You have no honor. You have no word. All you want is prosperity and success with regards to your shit. Material things. We've heard of your worming. Funny. If you're uh, speaking in regards to the veil. The only reason that the veil wasn't attacked by Highgarden is we asked them to give them a chance. We asked them to meet with them. We said that King Maddox is not like Queen Aaron. Do you King think Maddox wouldn't even be alive right now. <laughs> he doubts his abilities. Okay. That's interesting. If you guys are sucking each other off, that's fine. Oof. What the hell? Sucking each other off? This is pathetic. Oh, King Lindley, please present me your giant cock so I can suck it dry. Because clearly the North is here for that reason. <laughs> 
I'm just saying it's quite funny how quickly you turn your back on someone that supported you all last summer. Assisted you in getting the things you did get. Did they support us, or did we support Ah. Uh, I suppose you'd have to ask the former Queen Erin. I wonder if she supported you in night. <laughs> Ooh. I can say I enough. stood by the oh. veil. That everything I've done has included them with their interests. When we heard of Highgarden's plans, we told them to give them a shot. And that is why they went there with us. You did not tell them. them. You didn't tell your ally of the plans? We didn't have time. We literally rode from the meeting with Highgarden. You didn't have time? What about the eyes? Every fucking time I've gone to the goddamn Vale, I've seen Baratheon soldiers. To tell me you didn't have time to warn your ally, your one ally you ever made. Because you didn't strong arm them, you didn't rip your fucking stags around all the whole kingdoms. The one group of people you didn't fucking do it to. And you mean to tell me you didn't have time to warn them that a greater force with better supplies was going to rid them from the world? You didn't have time? They with all due respect, King Tyrell, this kind of behavior is exactly my concern for sharing blueprints. I don't know what you're talking about. They literally you rode, don't. you can ask Highgarden, they told us of your summer plans from the summer before, that they wanted to meet with him, and we said give them a chance. They specifically mm. did have plans to take it. We asked them to give them a chance, and we rode straight there to a meeting where they did give them a chance. Is that Aye. not correct, Highgarden? No, it is. is. I don't know where you think you're hearing things Thomas. that we have... Got them cut down again, because he has a loud mouth and a big ego. Everything I've done has been in favor of the veil. It's not funny when you're. I don't know what you're hearing. Hmm. Well, perhaps the Lindelys could speak on that behalf. Ava. Oh, oh no! What Ava. did you hear in the meeting that they had with High Garden? Um. That you were uh, sworn were... to secrecy to never tell to the veil. I've never spoken to Ava and that sworn you would lose, of uh, lose your house. <laughs> Hold on. Why does the matter of a word of a peasant even get brought oh. up in a meeting like this? She is no one. Even your shut up, Leon. Even your fucking wife came to me. I don't know what you're talking about. She does not have a wife any longer. <gasps> she let him. She abandoned her own house as well. Yes, after she learned of everything you planned to do. That, oh, you let Highgarden down, that we didn't assist you fully in buying the blueprint so you could keep the armor away from the north. Oh, did, did you leave that out? That you were going to steal the blueprint from underneath me just because I brought a little more men you didn't? I don't know what you're talking about. If we wanted to steal a blueprint, we would have. <laughs> then why, why would a rain come with such bullshit that uh, you planned to steal it? That you were just going to take a it because we backed out we on don't a deal? Even rain. <laughs> So You're listening to the to, to the Lannisters about our relationship. <laughs> Addison, do you really think I would do that? We were listening to someone that you let into your own family. You trusted her enough to sit in on the Ooh. meetings. Why shouldn't we trust her word? Ariane Baratheon. Yes, we found out someone she's a snake. who has fled the land and breaking her out her vows. A fucking snake. It doesn't matter. Wouldn't be the first time. Seems snake. like the Stormlands certainly snakes. brood snakes. <laughs> well, since we're airing everything out, uh, yes, it might not matter now. But uh, have you explained yourself to the Isles and why'd you kill ah! the king? <laughs> oh fucking hell! The problem here, my friend, is you have no edge on me. I have been so truthful. That I will burn in the seven hells without a regret, or remorse, or lie behind me. Every fucker in the realm knows what I've done. Every fucker in the realm knows why I've done it. Including I have nothing to hide. What? Was there anything else you'd like to try and air out on my behalf, though? Because I might have a big shit after a warm meal that I happily present to you. No. Mm. If you have to take the cowardice way of poisoning three different leaders, then... That is the way you've chosen. The cowardice? I'd be more than happy to show your land the not cowardice if you'd like. No. Oh, not have any you interest. sure? You sure? Then mind your tongue, wench. I will mind nothing. 
like as I want. These people we don't need to say our terms because uh, Highgarden already knows them. Hey, because you've been trying to suck on Highgarden's teeth, begging for things. Oh yes, mm, you watched haven't. us beg you for shit. So clearly we've been begging. Seems all you kingdoms have problems within each other. Where I thought this was a meeting about your problems with us. Hey, we did too. You want to unify us? Some of I us refuse to man. unify with scum. <laughs> oh, as you can reel them in. You can stay in the north, and we'll stay in the south. Fix that quite well. I'm more interested in hearing the uh, Dornish vipers turn to gummy worms, to be honest, and then maybe the van. As the same day you threw them out like a dirty fucking tissue, we gave them a second chance. We still consider them friends. Yet they seem to let history repeat itself. And they too only air out their things after something goes wrong. After you left, they consistently said uh, things about the North, only using them to spy on Highgarden and a few other things. Spy on Highgarden. Indeed, that's their words. Well, Is this so? are his words anyway. On top of that, uh, they also mentioned that Princess Martel, who married Jonathan, that the deals were supposed to be hush hush about uh, her firstborn being a Martel, even though she's a Glover. The fuck do you mean and hush that hush? Didn't sit well with them. That's what I was told. And child. someone is a friend who, uh, I consider a friend. I seem to follow what I say. I seem to keep my word inside my halls, but it seems that everyone else who walks in them talks. I offered the Martells a Glover's son to live in Dorne. And he could take the Martell name, and they can raise him as Dornish. A courtesy. What is Hush Hush about a Glover boy growing up in Dorne? Ask them, not me. Aye, I am. Of course they. Yeah. Speak. There's nothing hush hush about it. Mm. It wasn't hush hush. How come you failed to mention it to me in a meeting with Prince Salazar? Instead, you sucked me out or seeked whatever fuck the word is. You found me in the middle of a sparring event with many kingdoms to drag me away on your giraffe to tell me about this in private where no one could hear. Interesting. I think all kings here can agree that offering a firstborn son is a gesture of kindness and respect. Not of snakiness Indeed. or hushness. Well, that was our agreement with Dorn. Whatever grievances the North had with the Dornish, he apologized. Just like you, the North is forgiving. Transgressions and misgivings. Mistakes can be forgiven, but it's important to remind people when their mistakes are known that you will not stand by it. You speak of friendship, and that's what you wish to offer to us. But with one hand you offer friendship, and should we not be all that enticed by said meal? With the other you offer conquering, subduing with overwhelming force. You keep talking about friendship and how important it is, and let you... And yet, here you are, as a king trying to unify us all. You're stoking the issue. Frauding the problems. Pinning each and I every one of us against each other. Then how can I trust that everyone is on the same page? How can we trust you that you're on the same page? As far as the inside sources have te told us, you've influenced the Baratheons to betray the Errands. You've influenced us with good deals <laughs> and enticing. To take on the errands as well. Last I knew, we were never going to betray the errands. Way better than I did. And if you say so. Remember you who was going to march with them? Pardon? You have more soldiers than I do. You have more knights than I do. Go you definitely made out way better than we did. You made out quite well yourself. Don't fool yourself. Myself. There's a difference between me. And, and all your lords and ladies. One 
four versus what? How many knights have you? Thirty. That is not. We're not quantifying that how many not. sets of armor. We're talking about. That does not. Are you upset with me challenging you to unify us? You think there's good I'm reason in airing out the laundry? I'm not an honest. You're speaking honestly. I'm confronting you with honest issues. There are rumors here that you provoked the Baratheons to betray the Errands. He laughs. All these rumors. They already have. <laughs> All they so had to some, say was their oath breakers. Some chick that I don't even know is we saying that I did something. On them. Some chick. These are your citizens if you wish to be the king of them. Why don't you tell us? Who do you trust here the most? Probably the fucking Errands. <laughs> Mm. That's <laughs> never been around. Point. We've never went there. They've never done us wrong. Well, I shouldn't say the errands. I should say the Linder is. Haven't done us wrong. The only thing they did do wrong is, well, my queen put him in his place when that time was right. But that is about the only wrongdoing they have done. And we wronged you by allowing the Baratheons to buy a blueprint, correct? I didn't say wrong in any way. I well, said you said they're the only ones that haven't wronged you. So how did the North wrong you? Making me try to choose between two friends, which one uh, comes by and speaks bad upon you. It's hard to believe when you're choosing between friends, isn't it? I made you choose? Oh shit. Oh. I never once said choice. you had to pick between us. That is not my choice. So how is that my wrong? Enlighten I me. Say, is your wrong. I'm asking you to tell the North what we have I'm wronged you with. I'm saying it's hard to trust someone when you make deals and can't uphold them. Right. You think it's wrong of me? I did not wrong. uphold my I said deal. It's hard to trust. Right. How long have we been posturing with the assistance of the Tyrells against Storm the Stormlands? All five years of the summit? Planning accordingly when we invade the Aran Lands to shut down the bridge and brace for the stag advancement, correct? You postured us in a way to be defensive against a person. With all due respect, I am angry with you. And if I am misinformed, I will make to you my rights. King Baratheon is one of the few Baratheons I do like. A good man, through and through. And if the rumors of said woman are incorrect, then I will truly offer you an apology. I will give you armor, etc., etc. But with that news, being the trustworthy person I thought you to be, you can understand why I'd be so alarmed and concerned. Nevertheless, we have postured in a way with you. For an entire winter and summer. And then for you not to even regard the North with regards to your deals. And offer them gold forge options. Offer them other things. You bring doubt. You mislead your people. the North <laughs> to attack the Aarons, the Vale, the Linderleys. You said you would defend against Ormsing. You made it out that you wanted to fight with the Baratheons. I never give a shit about the Baratheons. I don't see them as a threat. I That's wildly happen. incorrect. Wildly incorrect, and you know it. But instead, I think we all remember just how close the two of your kingdoms were at war last summer. Did at you suddenly war? forget war on tension. how close you were at war with them? Far closer than the North has ever been with the Baratheons. Quite and clearly. I also remember telling you how to take the twins as well. I also told you how to defend the twins. I also showed you how to defend your own home. With a giraffe. And with oil barrels. No, the giraffe was just a fucking ploy. It's a good tactic, but Bobkins are gonna tear it down. But it was Thank you for showing me how to utilize oil board. barrels. I am truly grateful for an omniscient king that you have proven to be. I like how you yes, continue to banter this idea that all you do is give, 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 and you take nothing. You've received nothing from anyone. All you've done is I give to all of us. Trade the entire realm trade full of beggars. Yes, trade deals that... Benefit us greatly, but you minimally. How the fuck do you Every expect to win us over by such had. a comment like that? Yes, let's hear it. Every we trade have deal. Have we have not benefited so much from our trade deals. Well, then why the fuck are you making them? I think you benefited pretty well with the 180,000 gold from the Isles to get your gold forged. With all due respect, if you're the king, unify it. And all you're doing is reminding people of how they've wronged you. And how they haven't offered you anything. Why do you want our kingdoms? Why do you want to rule us if we have nothing to give you? But poor trade deals and failed agreements 
I might be a cunt or a sensitive bitch, as King Baratheon has enlightened us with. But I don't Still sit like there and... A little bit. I, I don't sit there and brag about how... Yes, I know you had to be spoon-fed in my kingdom. I know that you need me. We make just deals. You all act like... Oh, yes, I here it is. Today, just like they said right there in the uh, they all King feel. Baratheon... It you is besides such things. It is not what besides such find. things. If you want to rule us, you must respect us, and it's quite clear he doesn't give a rat's ass about anything other than what we have to offer. And unfortunately, everything we have to offer isn't good enough. You want us to support you? Prove it. Are we not here against all of you? They're not You're here to belittling every craving single to provoke fucker. all of you to be here. Ah. I am not. Speaking of no, trade deals, is not belittling you. You all benefited when... from us. Yes, have we made trade deals? Yes, we also benefited. The point Finally, is, is that we're not one leader equal agrees here. that they fucking benefited. <laughs> Finally, yeah, we said we we're not. I said you benefited more. There's a fucking difference. Oh. I disagree. There's not, and you know it. Moving on. We're not equal. Speak on that. We're not You're equal. better than us? No! I, did I say such better. things? You have BPs what do you mean? that Pike does not. Vice versa with many kingdoms. Uniting as one in King's Landing would give access to everybody to have those BPs. So it would break up these stupid, pointless tensions you all have with each other. Obviously, nobody trusts one another. This is getting Save ridiculous. Your fucking we would not give out such BP of privileges, such armor to those that we wish to tear down. That is not the purpose of such things. That's why she didn't give any to us. You might not be tearing Wording us down in a militarily. raven is what got you all here. It, a threat is what got us all here. But it was a Lannister soldier. That spoke how you are the reasonable one, the diplomatic one, but your husband, he the military one. And yet here he is belittling your people, or soon to be people, you trying to find resolutions. You can understand our concern now. This interaction here has enforced everything that the Master at Arms of the Westlands has said. And though his words may not be the most appropriate at times, or the things that he says do not come across the way that they should, but he does have good intentions. I would not marry such a man if not. You have met my sons. My sons are my everything. They are my pride and joy, along with the Reach and High Garden. I would not bring such a man into my safety of the kingdom I have built up and cherish if that was not the case. <laughs> I'd love to hear your account of it. Uh, I see. All I remember, all I remember that. Do. Just speak, Ava. All I remember that was said. What you told me and Addison. If Jody wants to speak, she can. Oh yes. What was said was that High Garden wanted to take the veil, and that there didn't seem to me. I don't know what anyone else overheard. That we would, we being Storm's End, uh, would fight for the veil or against them we didn't really we were never i'm a citizen i was never given a clear indication on whether we were going to stand with the veil or them or not at all but that's all i know lovely Ava, you want to tell us everything you've known that you told us yesterday yes that was uh because we were in the same meeting it was that high garden came and was going to go and take the veil and um, Storm's End mm. apparently was going to be with them. We went along with them to that meeting. We were never ever going to fight against the veil. They caught us before we was leaving to go to the veil. To bay. go and spar and spend time with the veil. Did you not, Highgarden? Indeed. I rode up to your keep, no one was home, and I was rolling at least 1,500 men deep, willing to take the attack as soon as we uh, departed. We caught you all mounted up on bears, asked you to come talk to us inside, we all went inside, discussed it, and you said that you needed to remake your alliance terms as you weren't sure that they would carry over from them, but you asked that the Lindley, you said the Lindleys are always at your place, sparring and having fun, and that they were nothing like the Erics, to please give them a chance. 
And we agreed right then on the path there that we would hear the Maddox Linderly out. And we did. Thank you. Thank you. You said a bit more, Ava. You said they would side with Highgarden. Last night when we spoke, you said that. Is that a lie? It would seem that she is Wave a traitor and a liar. Wave towards even came out of her mouth. We have never, ever spoken mm. against Vale. Seems that she no. can't get her words straight. Find your tongue. Let her fucking speak. No, I just told them what I heard at the meeting was that you were going there with High Garden. And the High Garden had been there and they were taking the veil. They wanted to take and then Linny. Strange that as our close friends you didn't seek to warn us about this. We rode straight to you. Straight to you. Tell us of High Garden's plans or I'm not forgetting. We, some... You were we asleep. literally we went there at the there. same time. The blueprints in the kingdom now. Absolutely not. As long as I believe that perhaps the kingdom was going to try and steal from their ally, until that is completely squashed, I will not. Hmm. What about the thing about keeping your head? You you will not share or you will not relinquish control of the Lutens. I will not relinquish control. They will not leave the north. No, I never asked for you to, to leave the north. I'm saying open to all to use. We are not and asking you. for your money or your blueprints or anything of the sort to leave your kingdoms. They're simply asking that everyone has an equal footing and access to them. There you have it. They will not take our blueprints. They will not need to leave the north. With this understanding, if they agree to all of the terms, save for the Tobias one, Lady that Mormont has proven that she wants a man to marry her for love, not duty. If he cannot pass just the need for living separately and making children, that's off the table as well. You'll have to find someone else worthy. You have 1,200 souls in the north to convince. We will not kneel. We will not pledge allegiance to you in 48 hours. We will not agree to any terms until you have won over every single northern house. If you are willing to put in that time to do so, I imagine they will all bend. And here now before you all, I have announced and declared a mutually aggressive and defensive pact with that of House Lindley. I have declared a mutually defensive and aggressive pact with that of House Greyjoy, pardon me, Farwind. And a mutually defensive and aggressive pact with that of House Martell. Bro, there's so much information left out and shit. I gave you my word last summer. You are a queen I would support. I will not say that about any other queen or king here. Say for the woman I married, I beg of you, prove your worth to my people. I cannot yield the North if all the houses in the North do not yield to you. I will not fight Boltons. I will not fight Mormonts. I will not see open rebellion in the North once more. I may say something that's I'm bothering me. Do you speak? Now the time. Yeah, well, while we're here, something that has been bothering me with my own people. It's weird to me how the story has changed and details. But the meeting we had has been brought up. What meeting? Well, the meeting we had when Ava spoke. Story has changed. There's a part about her keeping her head. I do find it quite troubling that her story has changed. She led me to believe that King Baratheon was a worm that would betray his own friend for material goods. I can assure you, if she's a liar, if she ever slips foot in the north, I will take her head myself and feed it to the wolves. Story did not change. It did change. It did. You were very clear and specific on your meanings. You were very clear and specific on what you accused the Baratheons of doing. Your comment has made every single northern here not even inclined to want to go on a hunt with them. We intended to spend this weekend in the far north hunting with people. Not debating on if we should bend the knee. And then you brought to our attention many grave concerns. Posturing my realm to ally theirs to protect them from potential Tyrell and Baratheon schemes. You do right by speaking truthful and clearly. She said many things other besides the blueprint, correct? Correct. Plan was to get us in that building and shut the doors and take what was ours. 
And why she wasn't it going the way she wanted? She fled yet again. I do not know. Yeah. Did she flee she because she away. was afraid? I do not know. I had a great conversation with her. Literally the last thing I did was breed goats with her. We bred goats and she disappeared. We were close friends. I literally have no idea why she did what she did. What did she say to you then if she was Lannister's? Did she share such things? She did. We haven't she seen told her. us the same before what? she left. What was she gained by telling Lannisters? They're allied to the Reach. What would she gain in that? Their hatred for us, hopefully. What? Oh? She wanted, well, she left us. She was not happy with us, apparently. I oh. do not know why, though. Changes everything. Isn't this the same why did she, uh, who... Why did she return home? Yeah, when Storm was fucking it up? We want to slander a girl. For pursuing love and then fleeing from danger. That's troubling to the northerners. The danger of it, our hand. Are you certain of that? The other girl seems to think That's... that her head would have been chopped off by you for speaking against you. Literally, the last time I saw her was we were breeding goats and enjoying each other. I literally. What about no you? Why she would be feared. This one. What about you? You're awfully quiet. You spend much time in both kingdoms. Would you betray I... love? Or would you speak truth before all? With so much on the plate. Everything lies in truthfulness. And I will tell you now that the North will not stand by any lying or deceit or intentions to steal from one another. Specifically with regards to allies. Will you not speak truths? Will you not tell us? You're married to a man in the Vale. What is more important to you? The future what of the realm depends married? on honesty. What do you is mean she not married? She is. I've seen her in the, Ar oh, yeah. the Aran lands or Lindley lands for as long as I can remember. This summer and last. She has always been there. It's my assumption that she's married. Most noble women don't run around with men unless they are. If I'm mistaken. Speak to no. her life. Please answer his truthfully. I was not in this meeting with Ar Ariane, or Leon, or Lyros, or Cadence. I cannot speak on what that meeting, what happened in that meeting. And what about the other one? Betraying the Alliance. Why didn't the Baratheons say anything? Why didn't they warn them? That was a potential because plan. It was spoken truthfully. We were all planning to go to the Vale. And the moment we went to leave, Highgarden arrived. They asked for a meeting. We sat and talked. And yes, there was talks of Highgarden taking the Vale. And then after that, we rode straight to the Vale, the group of us. And yes, again, but how long did you know and not tell them? I knew nothing. We I don't think any of us knew. You just said that you sat down with the Reach and they told you their plans, and now you're telling me you didn't know anything? Before that, no. But how, how do you expect us to get from Storm's End to the Eyrie? before Highgarden, if they are riding with us. Highgarden said they rode behind you, and I imagine if you had any decency to the friendship you had, such like I would with any person I know, I'd pull them aside in a quiet room and warn them of any comments that may likely bring out about their intending plan. We that is what you do for there. your allies. We all met immediately <laughs> you rode, after. I've heard you rode straight there 14 really times. Asked. Right, right, I don't know what else you wanted us to do. We went straight there. I just we told you what else you would do. If involved. you truly cared for your ally, you'd pull them aside. Hey, these fuckers are trying to steamroll your kingdom. You might want to make sure you watch your lips and don't say anything that will fuck you in the ass. That's what an ally would do. So you can I'm excuse sorry, the fact that you didn't have time. And do what you would like. You're right. You are right in that. But we had a meeting with them and everything was resolved. We went to that meeting to be with them. Because House Tyrell told you that they would give them a chance, you chose to still not warn them that impending war was potential? We didn't seem they, like they we needed it. to. We literally went straight into that meeting. Yeah. No, we, we did not know anything. 
We told about you we'd get hit potentially down. bending the knee. That kind of comes with you getting your head chopped off. You did nothing about chopping us down. So we came there to cut you down in place of the Aaron's actions. After hearing you out, we said we would not hold you to any of those actions. You did not say that. You spoke of friendship. You didn't speak of chopping me down because of what the Aaron's did. I've been. So we did know nothing. With everyone. And if I said anything out of line, if I spoke of only friendship, then your egotistical brother wouldn't have spoke up and got an ish anger issue. Uh, why would the Baratheon or now Lannister, that she's not married to Leon anymore, lie? Come to lie to us? Why would she lie to her own cousins? Explain that. I mean, I agree. I don't know why she would lie, why she isn't lying, if she is or if she isn't. But what I do know King is Lannister. the second person. Queen Lannister. King Lannister. You know your family better than most. And I will tell you, the North certainly has had its issues with House Lannister. Was the girl, in your eyes, lying? What gain could she have gotten by speaking to the allies of the people that probably were a part of said plan, as it's been clearly worded? She Speak told truth. me in private, and I told no one else. I have no reason to believe she thought that I would tell anyone else. So I do think that she was sincere in telling the truth. Everything's off the table then. <laughs> you saw the way I handled betrayal by words. Betrayal by scheming and undermining. Unforgivable. We will never bend. Not with that kind of treachery or scheming involved in your kingdom. You will have to choose. Which, scheming in which kingdom? House Baratheon. Oh, we're pulling up shields. Shields. Northerners! Bottle. To the bed! Back. This meeting is no longer for us. You're all welcome to come north. You're welcome to convince us. But as long as that kind of treachery is in question, the north will never bend. We will never yield. We will never agree to any terms. You will have to choose what is right and wrong. And if you stand by such actions such as that, or even are a part of it, you will never have the support of true northerners. You're asking me to choose word over word. word I, over word. I am. That is what a king will have to do in many occasions. You will have to show whom you trust and who you do not. And there is no reason for a Lannister, your ally, your very puppet kingdom, to lie in this manner. And if she went to them, that holds ground in my eyes. King Linderly has stated that he has had a total of three people come and speak out, I guess, against the Baratheons and all these things that the Baratheons had planned, and this, that, and the third. But two of those three people that are currently here have shown that their stories have changed. Two of the three. The last person is currently not here to speak up for herself. There's a lot of holes as in the story Aye. very clearly. And the North does not make deals with holes. So solve the holes as a king. Prove it. I'm making deals with that situation. It's between High God and you directly. Aye. Unless I'm it's between business. my future king and the North directly. Remember that. If he is the ruler of the realm, his realm includes the Stormlands, and the Stormlands is an issue. Whether or not the Queen is keen on how that issue came about is another matter I do not care for. Well, it's... The claims are there. Address it. And the two in the veil, whose stories don't even add up. Well, they're scared to begin with, and I don't know why they're not telling the entire thing. Well, they shouldn't. They should claim things and tell stories, and then go back on them. I do not care for these circles that are running around, but who said what? One is never coming back, and two are within your, is within your kingdom. And now they don't want to speak, and their stories don't even match up. So what do you do, what do you plan to do about such things, King Linderly? Because your grievances will not people. be solved. And I believe that I will leave for now, until that I could ever trust the Baratheons again. Because I don't believe the Lannister was a liar. I don't know why she would say these things and then tell her own cousins the about them. Might be. 
No, I don't believe they're lying either. They're afraid. They both expressed that if they were to speak about this, their heads would be chopped off. So on that note, I'm leaving. We willingly let them go. They had some sort of derogatory or bad information that we thought would get out about you. Why would we let them go there? We godly let them leave. Not only this. Are you not... Have you not all signed agreements that if anything were to happen violent, they would defend one another? And two are scared with so many people on their side. Is it not odd that three different girls have stories of deceit? It's definitely odd that two of them can't make up their mind. They're different people. Then again, they all know they will never hold no valuable position. Right, they never held it on here. Do you not They're respect still citizens, they still people. have. Truth is still truth, no, no matter who's true, man. Think, all right, well, with all due respect. Things. I mean, Highgarden was in that meeting, they know what was said. And if every single one of them and all of our people stand by what was said and it does not match up with what they said, then I guess I can't help you. I can't help you show the truth if every single person over here standing here says that they aren't hearing it correctly over there, and that what they're telling you isn't true, I don't know how I can fix that. Other than telling you that you are my closest friends, and I would have never raised a blade against you. That's all, that's all the truth I have to tell you. With conviction. What I've heard, I, I have can't a test trust for you now. <laughs> okay. Then I can't do anything else. Huh. Lady Swan. Yvette? Yes. Were you at the party that left the north? When addressing the seaworthy issue? Uh, yes, I was. I was informed that uh, King Baratheon, after pr promising that his man would be punished, showing great respect to the North, that in your ride home, he muttered, Don't worry, I'm not going to punish you. And then the, another said, Yeah, we don't give a fuck. We don't care about the North. Is this true? I hope you take my words for truth, but uh, due to the size of the bears and how easily it is to trip over each other, uh, I do not ride close to the group, so I would not be able to tell you yes or no. Well, is anyone going to answer that? We dealt with him accordingly, with how he felt he should be dealt with. Right, which is telling me one thing and not doing it. But... If I may, we dealt King with him Robert, accordingly, which is what I said we would do. Did not, mm. did uh, you not yourself say whilst we spoke about the matter? I, that... I did, but I hold a king uh. to his words, and if the king's words were one thing, and then insulting and lying confirms the story. Based on your comments, I'm inclined to believe the girl. Thank you for that. You punished the man. Yeah. How did you punish him? Hmm. Didn't. For us to know. They didn't punish him. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So you're lying. We dealt with him accordingly. How yes, did you? Accordingly. How did you deal with him? Insulting the North, patting him on the back worry. and saying you did a good job taming on no, the North. No, I man. never told him that. But you can put words in my mouth. It seems like you guys all like to do that. Trust me, I don't want to put anything in your mouth. Are you bending the knee? Do you pledge allegiance to her as your queen? Well, let me finish my sentence. No matter how you treat us, how much you accuse us of, we've been your friends. But if these are the uni uni unified seven kingdoms, there's no unity in him. I cannot follow no, you. Not. not right now. Not like this. And I thought my alliances were fucked up. King Lannister has promised in the meeting. You have a defensive pack at the north. The bell will not bend either. Mm. You have my word. No proper actions are dealt Custody. with. Things are got to the bottom. We're leaving. Now we're leaving. You speak of actions, but what will you do? Because you've said nothing on such things. What do you mean? You, you said until proper actions are taken. What do you want done? Players, but... You want me eradicated? No. 
Help. Did you tell them to tell the truth? Were they lying? Will they, were they going to steal the blueprint? Did they punish I the man? I could say the same about the two women who won't speak up behind you. It's really hard to have a double standard. I've tried to speak up. They just call me a liar and a peasant, of which I am neither. Then speak. Go, go. You, Shut up. He gave you the opportunity, uh, the opportunity to speak multiple times. You did speak. Told them what I heard in the meeting. There's a lot of confusion. So I'm, I'm confused. Yeah, I'm, I'm confused. Seeing. I'm confused this because what she says, there's it. nothing wrong. Yeah, who the fuck she, she's literally she's right. I think the issue is more stars. that when it was they a combination said, of things. I didn't even speak about this meeting until I found out about blue, the blueprint issue. Sorry. Sorry. I will not bend until we can trust the Brathians again. We're leaving. Mm -hmm. Oh, we were gonna they guess. Were coming there to yes. kill you. Okay, it's with enough. all the respect, the Queen agreed with this gentleman here that they did not speak of anything with regards to bending. Because she had put that plan aside just now. Exactly. So that that warning was not there. You had time to warn them and you chose not to. That's the concern. Because it wasn't an issue mm. anymore. Why would we warn How do you ever fucking that know that? If they're not your ally and it's still a plan. If the North ever were to say to, for example, your people, hey, we're going to go slam the twins, which we did actually ask you when you were unified with house Aaron would you defend it I went to you specifically about that did you tell them then did you tell them I had intentions of taking the bridge you asked to have passage to the south and I said yes that's not what I asked I said in the event that I decide I want passage and want to take the bridge would you defend your half and you said we could discuss it did you tell the Aaron's then or the Lindelys this is the first time we're hearing I would have went to it. them Ah. Thomas, Willie, laying on your cats. We're going. It's final. I have nothing else to say. I'm just here to see who bends, if any, at all. There's so much shit not adding up. King Lenderloo. Yes. I'd like to have a uh, formal discussion with you tomorrow, of the gods, if possible. Of course. No. Don't, I think don't we're gonna have a conversation there. when Animals we get home. Be on the side. So we could come back if you need help. All right, I'm proud of everyone for holding their grounds. Like I said the veil is not gonna bend. We are friends with the North. They are a powerful friend. We have to keep it that way. Be visiting the North a lot to show them that we are true friends, and we have to show them that the Brathians are not to be trusted. Same with the Tyrells, not to be trusted. I have to say. Well, they're a lot uh, more honest than North is. I don't think they'd ever lie. I don't think they'd try to steal our blueprints either. Because that is an undeniable fact. I believe the Baratheon. No, I cannot pronounce her first name. Just call Ari. her Ari. That's, yeah, Ari is what we called her. But I do believe her. And the fact that she did go to her cousins and tell them the same thing. She had nothing to gain from that. They trusted her with codes to our keep very early last summer. She had the, I mean, not to like vault and stuff, but I mean, she had was the ability to come and go as she pleased. She was very careful. Uh, I was about to say that you saw the note they gave you, right? They apparently stated yes. their requirements to Highgarden and they would not say it out loud. I think that's a bit weird. Indeed. They probably already sure, bent. We're gonna go talk with King Glover. It's very important to repeat your story exactly every single time. That way, there's no doubt or what ifs. Indeed, write it Problem down. Problem was to. that no matter how many times we repeated it, nobody listened. They were just screaming liar, peasant, whatever, and they didn't actually let us finish or talk. <laughs> I don't know who they called the bastard or why. Uh, Me, probably. Yeah, I think Leon was saying a lot of shit. There's truth to all your stories. That, that one point that you told King Glover about, the not punishing that man, that hold very true. Glover was very adamant that he did not like the lies. I thank you for that, Ava. Yeah, about the few people in Storms, and I know a few of them have lied as well. Um, like, m about None of small them things. Be trusted. Yeah, so I don't expect them to. Their citizens stand behind them. Even not willingly, I won't trust their citizens. I can get my other cat and go, King Lenderley. Where's, uh, Dexter? Laura, you Dexter want to has ride? a fast cat. 
Yeah, what's up? I can go do it, and I know King Glover pretty well, so um, yes, I'll go get him. Uh, Owen, uh, sleeping, up still. in a room, sleeping still. Yeah. Yes. Tell him that it's go, a but... very important that a castle has something to inform us about. What's this? Stairs, <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm getting what you ready. Want to demonstrate? I'm getting ready. Okay. I think we're gonna have a demonstration for my monster bears. I mean this is not gonna be the most viable thing, it's gonna be the most <laughs> insane okay. thing and it's stupid and honestly uh, I have one shield, I have one set. I'm ready. Can't on lightness on your build yet, Dexter? Um Sure. It's stupid. I have a hundred health. Or blood. Um. Dex. Have you ever like a rhino? Cannon? We need a smaller reader for my testing. <laughs> Only have one set. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing that. <laughs> Wait, I think they bought her some today. Did you? We oh. did. Yeah. I'll have to get him back. No. no, it's okay. You can take it. I have a lot. Oh, thank you. Do you drink? A wooden shield. How much did that hurt? I'm sucking cats. How much did that it hurt? It hurt though? a lot. Yeah, so my my secret Dante, thing, her alone. I hit for 600. That's it. I, I mean, I guess so. Uh, okay, ready? Is that something I need? 49? No, no, no. What the hell? Good. Yeah, she's Hello. Really big oh, oh, Kat is fine. Kat arrived at the phone. Are you uh, uh, does uh, anyone want to fight me before I apply <laughs> tattoos? Yes or no? What's your name again? Sure. Elaine? Who really said that? Elaine. We're getting our archery practice in. Someone slowed. Jason, uh, Thomas is slowed. Hell yeah, boy. Oh, shit. Hey, Jason, we should beat. Wait, where's Thomas been this entire fight? Get this ass. <laughs> You're the easier target. In the corner. Yeah, because I'm already slow. <laughs> no, I've been on you for a while. <laughs> oh, what the heck? You realize Dex has just stood there. You realize that? Uh, yeah, and I've got yeah, an I'm arrow in my skull. Because I have loyalty issues. Watch Someone shot me in the head again. <laughs> Like that? Wait, yeah, do it, do I it to like me. I, I swear. I just do it, I dare you. Pussy. Like an ah, you missed. Well, if you would stop moving, I would. Okay, do it, do it, do it, do it. No! no. <laughs> we wanna get mad at King Corner. He has King Arm. Who's doing that? You will never kill him. Me and Tobias. Ow! Can you. Jesus! <laughs> Uh, there's bears heading like, up towards the keep. Like, you're doing the same thing, like, all three of you. Alright, hold Don't stop. Bears heading up towards the keep. Shoot me dead, shoot me dead, shoot me dead, shoot me dead. I'll go tell them that everyone. I do not want to be brushed aside. So, but there is something that was said in a room that we were in, in regards to the Lindelays and the Baratheon. And there was a meeting before the market, too, in the vineyard of Highgarden, where King Baratheon acted like he has you in his pocket, King Linderly. Oof. I don't know why he would think that he never has. There was deals being made on who would bid on what, and that way no one would outbid Storm's End on the blueprint to keep it out of the arms of the North. Why was this not mentioned? Sorry, sorry. <laughs> you seen we how were, Highgarden treated we us, did you not? <laughs> we did. We were present when they those treat us like we are about. dirt on their shoe. I'm sorry, brother. I will. So, what were the agreements then? Talking. Speak. They wanted us to go in with them on the Gold Forge. Storm Zen was to purchase the blueprint, not the shield blueprint, but the armor blueprint. They were to get the veil to give go in half on that, and he basically said that he had you in his pocket, not to worry that you would do as he said. After the market, oh. when you did not go in on the blueprints and they did not get it, and instead you purchased the shield blueprints, 
we were over at High Garden to discuss the Gold Forge and how it would go, since we did give them gold for it, because that was what we agreed upon. Well, Storm Zen shows up. We're all standing in their stable. They pick they it outside. The door and they start talking. They start talking about how um, they're pissed off that they basically screwed all of us over in the agreement that we made. Talking about you, King Linderly, and the rest of the Vale screwing Storm's End and High Garden and Casterly over. Mind you, we don't care who has the blueprints, but we only put gold in for the Gold Forge. And they went into keep going and saying that they have ways to get their gold back. They wouldn't go into detail about why or how, because we were standing present. They said that they would speak about it later. And they did. They, they, we left, they left. And as far as I know, there was a conversation afterwards because they went running back to their keep. The Baratheons denied this, and I did say that they <clears throat> did have deals with Highgarden regarding these blueprints and keeping the hands out of the north. Say this. Were you not aware off. of any dealing between no, Highgarden and aware of any dealing. Why is it so hard for fucking southerners, to be honest? Because we don't trust each other. And what if what you're saying is false? Then you've given half the mind to all these people to defy something I, I am keen on and welcome to. If it means prosperity for all. Here we are. More lies, more deceit, more bullshit from southern kings and queens. I'm not surprised you didn't have the courage. I'm not surprised that they are scheming. And I'm certainly not surprised that Storm's End has no honor. You are fucked. As is done. I hope you have a backup plan for when your castle burns. I hope you like the North. Because when you come running to us, we'll open arms. But every single fucking time we speak to people like you. More lies. More failures at being truthful. And I am grateful that you're doing it here now. But you had a chance to prove yourself to me. And instead, you'd rather prove it here. I just sat there with his people. Confronting him because another king, shortly after the meeting ended, decided to tell me that he was informed not to trust us. Another king that didn't have the balls or the goal or the honor to question him in front of him. And here we are with another thing. What's wrong with you? You God's words not mean shit to you? I... What I come back to is four knights, including myself, coffers that are not quite echoing, an animal program that is well on its way, and a political clusterfuck. Because on our heads is the thumb of Highgarden. But I made a promise in my keep, and I swore it, not by just earth and water, not by just bronze and iron, but also of ice and fire, and I swore it to all. And I understand it's been pretty clear that southern words don't mean shit, but in the north they are something. And while you probably did not know of that, he did. And he chose not to trust the defense of the north in that regard. Because I would have loved to see King Tyrell fumble under his words. You don't trust me, and that's the same problem I have with King Tyrell that you're clearly telling me. It's the same problem I have with King Baratheon that you're telling me. The only fucking king in this realm that trusts me is the man that willingly gave me his blueprint to keep in our vaults. Oddly enough, it's the same man that defended his gates when I went to war with his king. How funny the tides turn. There was a moment to speak up, and I did. I wasn't born a king. I earned it. And we are in the most difficult position of all kingdom. So. We want to support our friends, what they've done for us, but they make it very, very difficult. What you say Everything. is true. They're not your friends. Yes. They're your purse and your pocket. And I think you're more afraid of losing what they have to offer than anything else. The Baratheons are scum. The Baratheons, liars. Lannisters, liars. Farwins, liars. Tyrells, liars. All of them. I believed in Queen Tyrell. 
And now I feel like I've been lying to myself. Oh, no. The North will only ever know one king, and that is a king from the North. I don't know. I'm king Lindley, I asked your men to man my bridge before I even trusted it. Now more than ever, I expect it to happen. If you expect us to help Indeed. protect you, of course it will. Good. Said, we're all in. I will speak to King Tyrell about these claims you make, and I will invite him to my hall tomorrow. And if you have any ounce of regard to your honor, I expect you to be there. We made a mistake earlier, and we are aware of that. We came here to rectify it without expecting anything in return. We appreciate you taking the time to listen. You had every right to trust Arion Lannister. She was telling you the truth. She was scared for her life, even when she came and talked to us. I probably should take a break from goat breeding, so I'll probably. I have plans. Okay. It's gonna take 20 minutes to an hour, and then we can sleep. Okay. Okay. Good night, everyone. Watch this. I think everything I have, like, clothing-wise, oh. is on my other cat that I don't even have at the house. I don't know. Just figured I should have something. All what right. are you doing? Uh, I was gonna do this. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, you can get that if you want. Uh, I can do it later. <laughs> oh my god, what the hell? Okay, listen here. So, oh, and I'm. Hell. <laughs> I... No, but I'm honestly gonna sleep though. <laughs> exactly. Wow.